How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting in front of What's going on? What's going on? People? People? It is a day of another day of another day that we call Friday. And it would have been said, what's going to people? Happy Transvisibility Day. <laughs> Uh, I've always wondered about that word transvisibility because um, it holds a lot of different stigma when it comes down to it. It might have been said, I want to talk about spirit him. Now there is a 90 year old woman who's decided to come and live in her truth. Her name is Patricia Davis. Okay, you see that very beautiful woman? 90 years old could walk around do fine for herself and 90 years old and I want to share her story with you check this out go, go, go. as of March the 31st trans visibility transgender World War II veteran comes out as a woman at 90 years old a transgender woman a World War II veteran proves that it's never too late to live life truthfully. Patty Davis from England didn't decide to transition into female until she turned 90 years old. Now, Davis born Peter was known she was a woman since she was just a toddler. I've known I was transgender since I was three years old. I knew a girl called Patricia and I decided I wanted to be known by that name, but it didn't stick, Davis told um, Cater's news agency. Davis kept the identity a secret of most of her life for fear that she would be stunned by her peers or forced to undergo electric shock treatment. The atmosphere around the transgenders was not safe. People did not understand what transgenders was, Davis said. Davis, who served as who served in the army on April 1945 to 1948, says coming out as a transgender would have characterized her as a homosexual, which wouldn't have been accepted in the army. Despite losing friends and cheating death while serving in the armed forces, she says she's glad she got to have the experience. I feel quite proud having served during the um, war having done military service and particularly during the trouble in Palestine, said Davis. Davis, who married uh, when she was 21 years old, eventually came out to her um, wife in 1987. Her wife, whom she was married for 63 years, bought Davis jewelry and dress that she could wear in private. Sally, her wife, passed away um, six years ago. I was 60. When it, when it all came pouring out on my wife, she was very symptomatic and helped me along the way, but we agreed to keep it quiet, says Davids, who first learned about the transgender identity on TV shows sometime in the 1970s. When Davids first came out to her wife, she decided to wear high heels, but was deterred when teenagers saw her and started throwing eggs at her window. Now, in England, Davis was beginning her transition and estrogen to move her transition forward and has come out as far as the transition community. It feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I was living a lie, she told Caters. I have been keeping it quiet. I have slowly started to tell some of my neighbors, everybody don't worry as long as you're happy, she added. Patricia has inspired to make the big change to male to female after seeing the romantic comedy on Boy Meets Girl, which featured transgender characters. Now that the transgender people are portrayed often in films and on TV, Davis feels more comfortable about being herself, but not 100% safe now, but it must, but it's much better than it was. People that I have told seem to be very accommodating and haven't thrown abuse at me, she said. I joined the Women's Institute and I socialize with them and have a much a much matter long chat. I'm having a great time. I have a new lease on life, she added. And she, here is the video that she's basically talking about and stuff to get an idea of her voice. And Patricia Davis, 
I'm 90 years old. I have known since I was the age of three that I was in the wrong body. <laughs> people did not understand what transgender was and also the medical profession didn't really understand it because the treatment during the 1950s right through to very recently I think was to give electric shock treatment. Well, at 90 years old, she came out, finally, she wanted to live in her truth and stuff, and she was met by tweets and stuff, people supporting her as far as coming out and being true to her. Now, this is a tweet, it comes from Joan Oaks, Patricia, what an inspiration you are, fantastic, that long after you came now, openly be who you are, absolutely brilliant. And also, another tweet came out in reference to, it says, Stefan, um, GMB, so glad live in the 21st century. I wish Patricia all the love in the world. Hashtag be yourself. You know, so basically she's got a lot of support and stuff as far as standing her truth at 90 years old. You know, she was a, a war, war II veteran and stuff. And she's living in her truth, you know, so God bless you, 90 years old. Okay, you said... All right, Miss Patricia Davis, go ahead, stand in your truth, girl, 90 years old, you know. It's never too late to live in your truth as far as being true to you, you know. She got mad and she tried to do the right thing and basically she had a partner that was her wife that they were together for so many years, 60 something years, and basically that's a wonderful thing, you know, to get somebody that can accept you 100% and stuff. Unfortunately, her um, wife died, you know, basically six years ago and she came out her truth and stuff. You know, so congratulations, um, Patricia and stuff, is living your truth. You know, I want to share this to you with you and this positive, day, um, positive message as far as standing your truth. And hopefully a lot of people won't wait till they get to be 90 years old and, and stand in the truth. They can actually do it. And, you know, for those who can't do it just up yet, don't do it. I always feel as though everything has to go at your time, at your speed. And you could be a... Um, a leader for someone could stand in their truth as well. You know, it doesn't always have to be trans to be someone who as far as career or as far as things they want to do that they feel that everybody would go against the grain as far as standing in their truth and they decide they're going to stand in their truth. They don't care what people say. They're going to do it. You know, I always said at the end of the day, we're all going to die one day. Don't, don't, don't you lay in your deathbed saying, I coulda, woulda, shoulda, when you know that you still could do it. You know, and a lot of times we, a lot of times people sit back and they wait. You know, and it's also had to do with a lot of these men who want to DL and stuff. You know, you you spend all your time, you know, with these men. You you letting your whole life pass you by, living in secret when you're actually living with someone who's living in their truth. And he, she found someone, and her wife stayed with her, and she was living in truth, and they stayed together anyway. You know, so hopefully she'll encourage a lot of people to stop. Faking the funk and you know, living the truth. Anyway, the bad said, I just wanted to share this thing with you as far as Trans Visibility Day, you know. It is what it is, and you know, um, they want to let people know we're here, you know, and we're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, anyway, the bad said, Shut up. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to share this thing with you on a Friday and stuff. And if you're going out, make sure you be safe. I understand you do trans visibility, but just know how far you need to go as far as standing your truth. Don't let the title sit up there and put you in a situation you can't get your butt out of. So stand true to you, but always remain safe. Safety is the first thing most important. I don't care what everybody says as far as being trans visibility and if it's you feel empowered, that you want to stand and walk into the society. We still live in the world of a lot of discrimination and homophobic. So even though I'm going to say as far as trans visibility, I have to put my message up there as far as you being safe. I'm not going to let you sit up there and say, well, I'm trans visibility. <laughs> 
and I'm going to walk in my truth and I'm going to let everybody know I am. Be safe. Let them have their transmissibility, but you make sure that you're safe after the transmissibility. Anyway, that being said, I just want to share her story with you as far as being positive. And I want to let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Catch the